Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Punish. Today we I'll be looking at Jax. Uh, there's quite a lot of Jaxes online. I mean, I think he's considered quite a strong character. Um, basically, I've just been playing ranked recently and getting washed by Jaxes. So I thought, you know what, it's probably about time I take him properly into their lab. And... Um, do some research. I mean both of his specs seem quite useful so we'll probably cover both of them uh, but first as always let's go through his normals. I'm recording this on my stream as well by the way so if you're if you see me talking to people off to the side it's because I'm doing it on stream so don't be confused I'm not losing my mind just yet. So go through his normal moves. So standing one eight frames but it's plus one on blocks that's pretty good. Back one wow that's Bit of a crazy back one power punch. It's a high, high, and it's minus 12 on blocks. That's really unsafe. Down one is seven frames. Standing two, minus three. Back two. Oh, so that's an overhead, and he can charge this up. And if he charges it up the whole way, he gets a crushing blow off it. So Jax is like to do that off you, on you in the corner. Um, I know. I just wondered if if the volume was high enough on the uh, on the video. For, for in game uh, forward two okay minus four so this is another bit twelve it's a twelve frame mid so that's pretty good and it's quite far reaching Jax is like to poke with this from this range to confirm it into yeah into that overhead which is minus seven so it's actually unsafe but we'll get to that in a second but right now forward two safe down two is uppercut minus eleven but obviously you can duck it boot bash it's a high, minus six. Back three, minus nine, unsafe. That's interesting. Forward three. Ah, uh, so this is the bane. This move. Okay, so this is the start of it. If he does it by itself, it's minus eleven. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So if they try and bait you out, sort of like a scorpion forward three, you know he does forward three and then foot into forward four. Forward three, three. It, if he just does the first bit, minus 11, it's actually unsafe. So that's really good to know. I didn't know that. I thought they were both safe. All right, cheers, man. So that is very interesting. He's got down three, minus seven. Standing four is a big boot, which is zero on block. Back four is his sweep, minus seven. Forward four is his knee. Plus one. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I thought for some reason I thought that was unsafe. Wow, and the second bit is plus nine. Jeez, I think that's the most plus move in the game. Bloody hell. But it is a high. So if you read the knee, I mean, you can super duck that and get a full punish. Um, and then you got down four, which is minus nine. So yeah, big revelation really is this forward three is completely punishable. I didn't, I had no idea. It's a nine frame mid, so that's really sick actually. It's like Jackie, which makes sense because they're family, but nine frame mid is really, really, really good. And he can hit confirm it into this combo as well. But if you just get, if you, if you see Jax is walking back some forwards and then, you know, trying to do that and then do, I mean, that's safe, that's minus four, but this, definitely punish this if you just see them doing that by themselves. Okay. Combo attack. Can you get, get any crushing bows other than the back two? He doesn't have any in his throats, does he? Not sure. Oh. Oh, who does? Okay, so if his arms are fully heated up, um, I'll go through that in his special moves, I guess. If his arms are fully heated up, then his forward throw has a crushing blow attached. But other than that, just back two. And then he's got quite a few strings. I don't know how many of these are really used, but we'll have a look now. One, two, high mid, plus one on block, one, two, one, that's an overhead, minus two on block, I didn't know that was safe either, that's a good, a very good string. Down one, two, alright, so Jax is like to poke with this, and that's minus six, so that's, unless you've got a six frame down one, and you're ready to, to punish it, that is unsafe, so Garrus can punish it, Sub-Zero can punish it, anybody with a, with a six frame down one can punish that, that's good to know. 2-2. Two, two. I don't think I've ever seen this string. So 2-2 two, two is minus 5. 2-2 two, two, down 4 is minus 20. Alright, so if you see your jacks do that to you, 
make sure you punish the heck out of it. That's minus six. Jaxes think they're so sick when they do that. Uh, forward two, down four. Ah, okay, so that's another Jax thing that they like to do. That's the mix up. So they'll either do this, which is. Alright, so next move. So this is forward two, one. So this is an overhead. So this is literally the mix up. They'll either do forward two, one, or forward two, down four. So forward two, one is minus seven. I actually knew that. So that's not safe if you've got a seven frame jab. Um, but you can probably flawless block both of these actually. If you read either of them. But they're both punishable. If you've got a seven frame standing jab, that is completely punishable. And so is this. I mean, this is this one's super duper punishable. Well, that's literally the mix-up. You just have to guess. It's a 50-50. Either they're going to go low, or they're going to go high. Uh, yeah, overhead. But the thing with this is, which I'll show you later on, is that this starts getting a lot more dangerous depending on what spec Jax has. So, actually, let me... I'll actually do the... We'll do hunker down first because I think he's got this is the one that has the specific string so we might as well go through this while we're looking at his strings so yeah there you go okay so this is where it starts getting scary with jacks so with this spec what it does is if he hits you with the overhead. So Jax is... I might as well talk about it now, actually, because it's relevant to this string. Jax has a mechanic. If you see, every time he gets a hit, you see his hand... Every time he lands punches, his hands grow hotter and hotter. And what that means is, as you can see, firstly, his damage is going up. The hotter it gets. So 20, 21. So you can see, the hotter it gets, 22. So his punches actually start doing more damage the hotter they get. Um, so it what that means is that when he starts doing stuff like this so this this mix up we were just talking about either he's gonna go with this do that or now he has an extender instead of it just being this oh, he actually doesn't even have access to that other string so you see that other th the, the four two one was an overhead now he can finish strings with one three and what it does is can you see it does this like big flurry of attacks which only does much more damage but can you see how much his hands are heating up so he only needs to hit you with two of these and look his hands are fully heated and that gives him access to um, fireballs and it gives him access to his crushing blow which is alright so it wasn't fully heated yet oh oh so that actually has a crushing blow attached as well Triggers if arms are fully heated. Okay, so there you go. So that's why it's terrifying. Because, you know, you, you think, oh, you, he loses the heat afterwards, but you think, oh, I'm going to block the low. You know, I'd rather take the low of, you know, I'm, I'm sick of getting knocked down. I'm in the corner. I want to take the overhead. You know, he only needs to hit you with three or four of these. Look, firstly, look how much life you're taking off. That's just with two of them. So if he hit, wow, really? So if he hits you just with two of these things from not heated, it counts as. So if he hits you with two sets of that, you've lost half your life. I mean, he doesn't have heated arms anymore. Yeah, I know. It's you know what? It's this is what I mean. And this isn't a. This is just forward two one three. This isn't like an, a high execution combo. It's just making sure you hit. And then you know if you've got them blocking high. You can just keep hitting them with the low. So, I mean, that's literally the mix-up. Um, so he's got this one as well, back 3-2, which he can then do into this DDT. Which ends in 1-3, but it's not the traditional punchy 1-3 ender, but uh, let's check the frame data. But the, just so you know, actually, the important thing to notice, is, is the whole point of this video, is how to punish... It is minus seven, just like the down one is. Uh, the uh, four two one 
because four two one normally without the in in Grin and Barrett, but in Hunker Down, it's the same minus on block. So they're both minus seven. So if you've got a seven frame jab or a seven frame down jab, I have a land deal. It's up then. Uh, then, yeah, it's, that's not safe. So I mean, it's it's not super punishable, but it's don't let him get away with those for free. Because what jacks like to do is they'll do that, and then you don't press a button, and then they'll down one you afterwards. So and then they'll just take their turn back, or they'll do that, and then they'll do this. So. Jaxes will probably block after that. If you can get the trick with this is that I found is to get Jax to start respecting your down one, because then what he's going to do is going to do this, then he's going to block low. So what you should do is, once you've got him respecting your down one, then you go for the grab afterwards instead, because he's going to he's going to down block straight away because he's he's going to get sick of getting down one after it does it every single time. So that's that's my way of dealing with it. I'm not sure if that's the best way of dealing with it, but I found reasonable success. Um, punishing it that way but yeah be careful because it as we've just seen he only needs to hit you with two of those hunker down um, and look he's got three so this is the other one so this as we've said is minus four and you try if you try and block and press a button after it when he's got this spec the hunker down spec he's hitting you exactly the same way I mean again minus seven so if you block it then you can punish it but you know, this is this is the trick. They'll be doing this, you know, and then you get pressured and you think, oh, you know what, I'm going to jump, or I'm going to try and get out of it. And then, just when you jump, he hits you with the overhead. So it's quite a strong mix-up, really. I mean, the, the risk-reward of it is pretty high as well, considering it's only minus 7. But, you know, very, that's a very... A very strong jacks mix up in this spec, but it isn't set. So if you get if you're getting spammed with this, and you think, man, this is driving me mad. If you don't think they're going to pull the trigger on the one three, you can jump it. And I'm pretty sure you can flawless block it as well. If you think he's going to do it again, then you can flawless. You can definitely flawless block in between these. I mean, it's minus four, so it's not plus. It's not like Liu Kang's kicks, where you can just do it again and again. You do have options. I mean, you can't you can't down one it because it's safe, so he's just going to get you with it again, but it's this isn't guaranteed pressure, you know, if he just keeps doing it, you can definitely jump. So, yeah, don't don't let this fluster, don't let this string, and especially not this string, fluster you, because he can't go into, if he's hitting you with this, it's just an overhead, he can't go into the low, it's not like this, where he can go into the low. And then lastly, you've got forward, this is the, the knee, so this was the one I, I, sh I did that before. So this is forward four two. So it's minus nine on block, which is super 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 safe and positive. So he's at super frame advantage here. But that's a high. So if you read the knee, can you do anything? He can't. It doesn't look like he can special cancel into this. So if you if he does that and you read the knee, uh, the, you read the Superman punch at the end, you make sure you duck that because that's super 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 punishable. Um, oh no, so so Valandil, basically what this is, it's not practice, I have, um, morning renegade mailman, it's not practice, it's um, how to punish, so I just go through the guy, I go through the character and then go through all of his moves so that people know how to, how to fight them, so, hunker down, well yeah, I'm going to go to his moves now. So that's all of his strings. So this, these, all the strings that have be aware as well. All the strings that have this um, overhead, the multiple punches, they all have crushing blows attached. That are if arms are fully heated up, then you get crushing blowed. So be very careful of that. Um, so we'll do the special moves in this first, in hunker down. Uh, one, two. So uh, th this is, we'll do these two and then we'll go through the rest. Okay, so he actually has quite a few special moves. He's got, firstly he's got this gotcha grab. So what this is, is usually, this is used as his, com his main combo ender. So they'll do something like juggle, oops.
Maybe you can only do that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So there's four options. So if you just mash at a square, it's that. He does that. Gut buster. He walks you towards the corner. And then he's got lay down. So he can side switch you. So if he's actually got his back to the corner and he hits you with that, he can throw you around. And then he's got this one, which is just... Uh, his four, which is just a throw. So, But that's got a restand. So if you get hit with this, you have to be careful because he throws you into... So firstly, he's got a lot of corner carry, and then, see, he's got a restand. So this is this is the tricky bit. If I was... if What I try and do, which isn't always what I do when I panic, is if you get hit with this, it's better to just try and read the grab because if you try and jump, he's going to hit you with a forward 4-4, four, four, and he's just going to keep getting you with this. And this is or or this is a really good anti-air tool as well, and it launches you, so you can get two of those into the grab, and then it's just end game. So yeah, if he if he throws you in the corner with the hunker down spec, take the grab. Basically, don't try and jump. If you if you read the flawless block, maybe maybe try and flawless block it, and then get out of the corner that way. But I would not jump because oh, jumping against Jax, especially in this spec, is going to open you up to a world of hurt. Uh, let's see. You can hold your opponent. One. So I think it's like three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah. And then he punches you. But what Jax like to do too is they like to do this, and you might see them delaying it. And it's not they're not doing it to mug you off. Well, maybe they are a little bit. But the reason they're doing this is because if you delay the punches... If you don't have meter, it actually starts coming back. So you'll see them delay. It's the same thing with Jackie in the, her clinch when she clinches you, and you see her doing the delayed knees. It's not to taunt you. It's because the longer she leaves it, the more meter she gets. So if she does it on, if she does it to you, on uh, when she doesn't have a meter, on Jax does it to you when they don't have a meter. That's why. So be careful of that as well. Um, and then you've got the command grab. So this is like a sort of chain grab almost. So I don't actually know which order you're supposed to do these in. But this is a command grab, basically. So you can't... So it's... So this is... Yeah, so that's all four hits, and I think this definitely has a crushing blow attached to it, but I'm not sure what it is. Ah, okay. So basically, if he just frames it, then you get a crushing blow. I'm not going to try and do that now, because it's going to take me forever, because I don't play jacks. But let's see how... Actually, quickly, let's see how punishable Gotcha Grab is on block. I'm sure it's super punishable if you look. Minus 17. So if he's reaching out, if he's trying to reach out to you, this, sometimes they, they don't hit confirm it and they'll do something like that. That's minus 17. So that's super duper punished. Even though it looks like it recovers quite quickly, that is really, really easy to punish. But this, you can't punish that. That's a command grab. So this is this is another reason why his mix-up game's strong. So he's get, if he's got you in the corner and he's 4-4-ing four, four you, then... Uh, you know, this, that's when you've got to be careful because you're, you, you know, you're expecting the four four. Maybe you're down blocking, or you're expecting this, and then you know you just get command grabs, and you can't block command grabs. So be very, very careful. But got your grab, as you can see, minus seventeen. That's super duper punishable. Then he's got stiff armed thumper heat missile. Heating up. Burning hammer. I think that's almost it. Oh, he's got loads. Okay, yeah, he's got loads of moves as well. So this, Jax is like to do this for you. This is super punishable. So this is back forward two, stiff armed. So minus 16 on block is super duper punishable. But the, the trick of, the, well, the gimmick of this move is if you amplify it from, from long range, it actually becomes, so if they do it too close, can you see the last hit is actually a grab? So they like to do that from long range. I think it's a mid as well, so you can't even duck it. So, yeah, Jax is like to do that from long range. Actually, you can definitely duck it because I've ducked it before. 
So if you th if you get the read on that, you can duck it. But the thing is, as you can see, it's from long range. Actually, let's let's I can just get this computer to duck so you can see. Yeah, see. So you can definitely 100% duck it because they like to do this from long range. So if you th if you get the read and Jax is going to come, you know, try and get try and hit you with the the grab portion of it, just duck it, uppercut, full punish. Um, let's put it back to standing. But yeah, that's that's the gimmick with that move. So, and then you've got his thumper. So this is, I mean, this is a super slow range projectile, and especially if they did it from up close, minus twenty three, super unsafe. It's a fairly reasonable anti if they get the read from far away, but he can amplify it, and he fires too. So again, it takes ages to do. So. You know, even from that close, it's super, super punishable. Um, oh, two, four, three for the command grab. Yeah. So. I think you're right in the first place. I think it is two. Two. Yeah, so two, four, three, one. Yeah, I'm not gonna try doing that. <laughs> but yeah, two, four, three, one. Um, then finally you have heat missiles, so he can actually heat up without punching you, and he can amplify it too to get to do two hits. So he doesn't actually need to hit you. So you see some jaxes will go, if they're full screen, they'll just start doing this just to get their arms hot. And then it gives them access to this this projectile, which they don't have access to. And this is much better than this thumper, as you can see, because not only is it much faster, but, I mean, it uses up the heat in his hands, so you'll see it's slowly starting to fade away. But... It gives him access to a much better projectile, which he doesn't need to amplify to get a double one as well, which is very, is, you know, very powerful for, for a projectile in this game. And it has a crushing blow attached to it as well. Where is it? Yeah. So what they like to do is try and get you. Usually, it's in a corner combo, so they'll launch you, hit you with a, you know, hit you, do a jump, and maybe hit you with two of these. And then while you're in midair, jab into um, the missile, and that does a lot of damage. That's like a 350, 360 combo. So yeah, be careful of those. But this is this is super punishable on block if he does it up close. If I can heat up my arms. So minus nine. I mean, it's minus. I say super punishable. Actually, it's not that punishable, especially not from that far away. Might, if he just does one minus nine, you can punish that from from close. But minus, if he if he doubles it up, then be careful because it's not only is it minus. I mean, projectile frames are variable in this game. So the further away they are, somebody does them, the safer they are. But even if he does it right up to your face. Minus eight, and that's from that far away, so you're definitely not going to be able to punish that. And then lastly, it looks like... Oh no, not even lastly. Bloody hell, he's got so many moves. His last few moves, and in this spec, in the other spec, he's got even more moves. He's got this... So let's do ground pound first. So this is a low. So if he does this in your face, minus eight. So it looks like it's the same regardless. But... So he's got that, and then he can amplify it for two hits, which is actually plus two and block right close. But don't be afraid if you if you think he's going to do that. Firstly, that minus eight is punishable. Secondly, if you think he's going to do uh, two, so let me take control of player two, and then AI options. So just to jump. You can actually jump. Can you see? I jumped. I jumped the second. Uh, oh, I got hit there. And that's a punish. So if you think he's going to do two and you're close, 
you can definitely punish that. He's, you're not stuck to the ground there, so you can definitely punish that with a jump in between those. I mean, it is a read, but if you think he's going to do two, you're not stuck to the ground. You can jump in between those, so be careful with that as well. Um, go back to player one. Oop. Okay, so I'm back to Jack's good. And then his last move, in this spec anyway, is called Burning Hammer. So what this does is, it's an air grab. So if we have jump, and he can actually combo into this as well. So if he launches you, he can combo into it. And he has a, a uh, an air, and he actually has an air version anyway. So the air version is probably what you combo into. So these are grabs, so he can amplify it as well, it says. Oh yeah, there you go. Jeez Louise, 170 damage. So that's more than a stand. So 120 is less than a normal throw, but 170 is much more than a normal throw. So if he if he gets the read on the jump, he can't amplify the normal burning hammer. But he can amplify... Oh no, he can amplify both, it just doesn't say it. Oh no, it does say it. Do it. Okay, so he can amplify both for 170 damage, and they're both grabs. So, be careful of that. If you, usually, I see, to be off, to honest with you, more often than not, I see this move as a combo ender. Because Jax's main anti from what I get hit by is his standing one. Because he's standing ones you, and then he can get you with... Well, if he, uh, see if I can do it. There you go. That's what he does basically. Standing one or standing one into that depending on your spec and then because I think if he gets you with standing one yeah so he not only can he hit you with that this combo normally anyway but he can actually anti-air you into it as well with the standing one and, and get the heated, uh, heated arm. So jumping against Jax as well isn't necessarily a great option. He's just a really strong character, man. From what I can see, from from um, actually taking him into the lab, he doesn't have many opportunities where you can really punish it. Unless he he goes for the overhead a lot, um, which is minus seven. But even then, the most you can get out of that is the down one, and then mind game or standing if you've got a standing seven frame jab. So just be very careful, basically. Uh, and then his second spec, which is also powerful. So he doesn't have access to the. He still has heated arms, but he doesn't have access to that. Um, that punchy string, instead he just has a normal overhead. So he's still, his arms still heat up the same way, but what he gets in this spec instead is this stance called Duck and Weave and Briggs Barricade. Oh, yes. I know what that is. So he gets Duck and Weave. So this is a combo extender basically. So he'll do something like. and then if you amplify it so he can do that so so that's this is his main combo in center in this spec so instead of getting the, um, the overhead well, he still has the overhead in this spec but it's not flamey hands instead of getting the um, the hunker down combo, what he does get in this spec is much more damage on his uh, combo extenders. So he can move in and do that, which is a mid. He can move in and do this grab, which is a low, sort of like Kano's one. Then he's got axe handle, which is an overhead, and he can actually amplify it. So this is the, this is the combo bit. But this, so if, if Jax is do this to you, Or whatever it is they're using to combos, that second bit is actually a high. So if you get the read on that, you can duck that last bit for a full punish. So, you know, get ready if you think he's going to pull the trigger on it and do a, um, do the second part, duck full punish. And he can actually cancel it as well with down down.
Oh, there you go. So you, if you hold triangle, so that's a mix-up as well as well, I guess, if you think he's going to do the duck and weave. But let's just see how punishable all of these options are on block. If he tries to pull the trigger. So he's got the normal duck and weave. Minus seven, so that's pretty safe. Because that's quite far away as well. And then he's got this mid. Minus twenty two. So if he does if he does this mid on you. Minus twenty two, super punishable. If you read the low, minus seventeen, super punishable. If you read the axe handle. Minus seven. So that's still punishable, but you know, you've got to be ready for that one. But as I said, if he goes into, if he amplifies the axe handle into this, minus four, so that's actually safe and he pushes you away, but you don't have to hold that. You can duck it and just go straight under, you know, just go straight underneath him. So, he can delay it as well. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So that's, again, that's another mix up in itself, because if you think, oh, he's going to do something, then he delays the combo and does this instead. Um, Briggs Barricade. This is an energy. Uh, absorbing move. So I'm guessing, as far as I'm aware, this heats up his arms when he blocks with this. I always forget what her projectile is. There you go. So can you see, he's blocking the projectile and if you amplify it, it actually gives him more heat. So be careful in this spec, if you're chucking projectiles at him, you're you're essentially powering him up. So, I mean, it's it takes ages to do. So, if you get the read, if you think he's going to do it to try and absorb a projectile, you can get a, good, a big punish on it. But yeah, be careful with that one because if you just keep chucking projectiles at him from full screen, all you're going to do is power him up. And then lastly, he has ripped. Oh, so this is another overhead. So this is similar, so, so, so essentially this is the axe handle um, the axe handle and amplified part from duck and weave. So if you look, that's the overhead, and then that's what it looks like. That's from duck and weave, but he just has it as a normal move too. So it works exactly the same way. So the first hit is an overhead and is super punishable, oh, minus seven, which is punishable. But then the second hit is a low, is a high, sorry, that you can duck. Yeah, good jaxes will do it on reaction, definitely. That's what I mean, that's why you've got to be careful of it. Morning Papa Motion, that's why you've got to be careful of it, because otherwise he's just going to be sitting there and you're just going to be powering him up. Um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and obviously be super careful of his crushing blow. I mean, I don't usually talk about people's crushing blows, but I would definitely be very, very careful of Jax's crushing blow, because... It is very, very, very fast, and it goes very far. So, I mean, let's see the distance. So that's that's full screen. It's not quite full screen. So, how far away is that? That's that's pretty much full screen, though. This is full screen. So just in front. So if we do just in front of full screen, say sand here. That hits you. So that's how fast it goes from this way. It's a mid as well. Minus 22, so obviously like all, all Fatal Blows, it's super punishable. But, you know, if, he, if, you're, if you're whiffing buttons from this close, look how fast it is. 11 frames start up. I mean, you're not, you're not going to punish that on reaction. That's just that's impossible. So you're not going to block that on reaction. So just be very, very, very careful. If he's around here and he has it, it, if I was you, I would respect him until he throws it and then punish him. Because you can't duck. I thought you could duck it at one point. Quad crab crushing blow. Okay, somebody in my chat has just told me, Renegade Mailman, quad grab crushing blow is fatal blow, sorry. I keep saying crushing blow. Thank you, Papa Masha. This is his fatal blow, obviously, not his crushing blow. But quad grab, so the, the command grab in hunker down spec, if he hits you with all four and he gets the crushing, the, the crushing blow and he's fully heated, it will do 400 damage. So be very wary of it. I mean... Command grabs are command grabs. You can't block them. You just have to read when he's going to do it and jump. Um, but yeah, if he does hit you with it, that's going to be a lot of life. Oh, he has he has all his other moves like Gotcha in this and um, Zampa. So yeah, that's Jax. I mean, a very 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 strong character. I would definitely put him amongst the top tiers. Um, 
very good buttons. A lot of them aren't super punishable, apart from this one, the, the um, forward 2, down 4, that's minus 20, that's super punishable. All of these buttons, like plus 1, minus 6, um, minus 4, I think it's minus 7, all of them, they're either safe or they're barely punishable. Um, so, yeah, but just, it's a tricky one. Try, I would say with Jax it's better to block high because he, even though he's got a lot of good low, that's a good low, that's a good low. Um, this is a good low if he hits you with it. I think for the most part, he's going to be going for the overhead, especially in the hunker down spec. So just try and challenge him. Try and challenge him if you read the overheads because he's still going to do the overhead in this spec too. Um, Try and challenge him to, to, to check him to stop him from advancing so much and putting so much pressure on you. And then when you get an opportunity, so if you do read the uh, down four after the forward two, just punish him when you can. Gotcha grab, super punishable. Uh, the um, He doesn't have, does he not have the... So he doesn't have that... Uh, full screen dash move into the throw in this spec, but that's super punishable too. It's minus 16 if he doesn't amplify it, and the second hit is a throw, but it is duckable. So, you know, you have to make sure that you punish him, basically, when he does um, unsafe stuff. So, yeah, that's Jax. Um, if you like this video, which I hope you do, please leave a like and a subscribe. Let me know if I can do anything differently in the comments. Uh, this is the first of a big series of how to punish, so please go through the rest of the characters um, I've done. If you're struggling with any of I've done so far, I'm going go, to get to the whole cast eventually, but if there's anyone that you'd like to see, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm recording this on my Twitch, um, which is at Sodium Gym. Follow me on Twitter, at Sodium, everything Sodium Gym, basically. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um... Try not to get bodied by jacks, and I'm going to try really hard. And always remember to stay salty. Take care, everybody.